Okay, my man. Um, so I gotta be careful with this so I don't fucking blind myself. So this is uh, there's uh, a laser in here. There's an 18650 battery. Uh, there's a pull pin switch. So uh, and there's a, a five volt uh, charging board. You know, like I can I can charge with charge this thing with a USB. See, so but you, what you see here, all of this, there's no tape really. It's all just heat shrink. So. Uh, Harbor Freight, I, I, I don't know how you feel about using stuff manufactured by slave labor or, or, or what you have available in your area, but you should be able to find like an assortment and what you're looking for is the cheap, larger assortment. And then, um, you can get these with the smaller tubing or you can get rolls of whatever tubing, you know, like the heat shrink tubing, uh, for pretty, pretty it's, it's cheap. We're talking, you know, tenths of a cent per, per piece or whatever, you know, hundreds of a cent per piece in some cases. Uh, but this is what you can get out of it, you know, relatively sealed. There's a little bit of tape on it and you can see you use a little bit of hot glue in certain areas. Um, and you can, you can wrap everything up and kind of, but you really need to have those wires, you know, where you want them, you know, and then, and then this shrinks around them and kind of just seals everything up and, and, and it, it encourages the way you soldered it. So if you soldered them like straight down into the board, instead of coming out at an angle, it, it might be like, this might be the learning experience time, you know, like this might be a teachable moment. Um, that, you know, think about how you're going to mount this freaking thing. And I, I know it, it's very easy to just kind of, you know, bring them in straight down or whatever like that, or however, you, however, you, you know, it's set up. But if you want to allow for like this kind of, of best way to describe it, it's like prison wrapping, you know, this is, this, 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 uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's kind of basic, but it is very strong and it will, uh, you know, kind of keep them in better shape and keep them from knocking into each other and, and keep those, the conductors from, you know, or whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's non-conductive. So you, you, you can get a lot out of, you know, a couple boxes. We're probably talking that's four ninety nine at Harbor Freight. That one was like three and change or whatever on the internet. So we're talking like under 10 bucks and it gives you a lot of versatility. And then what, what I wasn't talking necessarily about hot gluing on the electronics itself. You will kind of stay away from that depending on most of the time. It's okay. Like you can see here, uh, in certain cases when you know your components, uh, and, and you, you've got a little bit stronger ones and you've also got something that's a little bit more, as best way to describe this, more hazardous, higher voltage or higher amperage. In this case, it's, it's higher voltage and amperage the way it's set up. Um, but then there, there are some other options here and I'm, I'm going to lay these out too. Uh, so this is a, a airdrop EMP. Uh, it, the, this part's a mock-up down here. Um, I think we can come out of the top here. You have a fucking pin in there. Okay, no. I'm gonna set you down for one second. Okay, it's got a, it's got a, 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 a trigger. These are dumb fire. Uh, this is dumb fire equipment. It's Velcro down in there. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so what you see here. Get you up in the light, partner. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. Usually, I just make shorts. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we'll get you where you need to be. We'll give you some advice. You know, you know what I'm saying? And then kind of take it as it comes here. So what you're seeing here, we've got an 18650 battery holder. We've got part of the triggering mechanism that needs to remain, uh, you know, where it can move. Okay. So we've got a shielded compartment for the um, for the uh, uh, the five volt. Uh, uh, power supply and, and charge controller specifically for the 18650 battery. And then what we've got down and we've got a, a it's pretty much just a switch, you know, like just like a toggle switch. Okay. And we've got some plastic components kind of hold it together and a, and a little bit of, uh, of wood on the bottom. We're using wood because this is a, it best be described as a directional EMP uh, that at the end, uh, so it, it has enough power in it with the 18650 battery, the way it's set up that at the opt where you drop it at the right altitude, which is the, you know, it, it has to be dropped at that altitude. Uh, you get like a, a tightening beam as it comes down. And then when it hits the ground there, it's not shown here, but there's a, a, a canister of uh, like saline spray, like what you use to, to spray your nose that comes out. And then this goes from being a, a EMP, directional EMP, the contacts close and it becomes like a, the best way to describe it, like, like uh, if you cross the taser with pepper spray, you know, like, or, or, or like, like a, a lightning storm when you're up in the plane, you know, so the, 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 the coatings I'm using here 
and, and the way this is set up is is designed because I, I it it doesn't have to not burn. It just has to not burn for long enough. So I'm using high heat paints like would you paint a radiator with? Okay, but I, I'm doing base coats over top of that, and then uh, the uh, the KVA transformer. I tried not to paint too much because it's going to heat up as well. And, and it's just, I, I want this to burn so that the enemy doesn't have it. So what this does is it, it, it's, you know, the, the battery, the switch goes off. The, there's going to be an arc gap here, then a magnet uh, it wrapped in uh, a, a, a coil of wire. And, and it's set up, and basically what you get is optimum range is about like 65 feet. You get an 18-foot uh, uh, um, uh, uh diameter like circle where you're bricking shit it, it, even hardened stuff is gonna 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 feel it you know and then as it hit and when it comes down in that area so whatever you you damaged or or or, or suppressed with the you know the initial approach or anything like that it uh it, it, it you got like arcing uh electricity coming out and, and it's a it, it, when it when those contacts close the amperage goes up based on, on the way this is set up so but what you can see here is purpose coatings you know and 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 they're not necessarily going to have to it doesn't have to last forever okay but what, what you're looking to do is is limit your you get what you want out of the thing if it's a rocket and, and you know it goes up and down a couple of times or you can repair it in between or you kind of tweak it as you go you know it, it, but you know certain permanent things or, or, or certain things where i'm going where i'm at sacrificial i know i hit a certain heat catches fire because i've got an ulterior motives but like i said so you know high heat paints um and then also the stuff you use to repair circuit boards. I don't know if you ever like burned a trace or anything like that, or like I got a really uh, complicated board or whatever, you're real deep into it, but you can get all that, that different kind, those different kinds of, of um, not really paints. I, I'm not sure how to describe them, but look into that. I, I'm thinking between a mix of uh, 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 non-conductive high heat paint, heat shrink tubing and hot glue, you know, and, and if you need to, like, like you see like a, you can you can package things a little bit better so that it, it, it's not just the thing in, wobbling around inside your cylinder, you know, or, or whatever you, the, the the rocket body. So whereas like this, you have, you have another little 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 uh, uh, enclosure there. It's shielded as well um, from the uh, from the impacts, effects of the EMP, and it's pointed away from it. But just to just to keep this thing for you know for, for running, you know, like to, to, to keep it moving. Um, but these are some ideas here. You know, and if you need, you need a little bit more instruction or anything like that, especially with the heat shrinking, whatever like that, and where to use hot glue, where to use certain paints and, and some other products, I, I can get back to you with it. Sorry the video went so long. I, I just kind of wanted to explain what was going on here. And, and so your, your motivation is like, it, it, it is similar to being involved in both a piece of artwork and a piece of manufacturing. It's, it's crafting, you know, when you're really looking at it. Get what you want out of it and, and optimize things if you want to. But if you just want to, Quick, uh, I just want this thing to fucking work. No problem. You know, like the heat shrink, a little bit of hot glue, maybe resolder, you know, uh, smooth things out, uh, tape them down, rubber band them, whatever. Um, but if you're, if you're looking for specific effects, you know, it's, it, it is, it is, you're making electronics, you're, but you're also making, this, you know, a, 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 an object that has other, other qualities, you know, like think about it like that and, and think about the, the coatings you use the, 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 you know, the wraps, whatever like that. And you're also looking at weight and everything like that. And, 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 uh, you know, conductivity, uh, it's, it's a multivariate analysis you're going to need to do here, but I think you're capable of sitting down looking at what you see here and then start making some decisions. And if you want some, you know, some of the more esoteric stuff, I, I, I could do that as well. All right. I'm going to let you get back to it. Sorry to chew your ear off and then, uh, just stay in touch.